Taiwan, Bluebricks today is in D15 in the HDB Estate of Marine Parade. For Eastside lovers who love the sun, sand and the sea, today we are bringing you to a 3-room unit, high floor at 65 Marine Drive. Follow me on this BB Home Tour. Let's go! Welcome to our Blue Bricks Home Tour. Now do stay tuned to the end of the video where I'll be showing you 5 BB Reno ideas that you can do to this house once it's yours. So let's talk about the BB facts. Now we are a cluster of flats that are located in the Marine Drive Gardens and over here we are one of the few HDB estates in Singapore that's actually close to East Coast Park. So over here we are in Block 65 and zooming into the map you can see that we actually have quite a good distance and setback from the ECP all thanks to the car park that's located right in front of us. So you actually do not have to worry a lot about the noise because there's not quite a lot of buffer that's provided. So within this block itself, there are a total of 16 floors and there are 172 3-room units and in terms of 5-room units, we only have 4 of them. So majority of the blocks within the Marine Parade vicinity actually were built in the mid-1970s. So for this block, we actually TOP'd in 1976. So in terms of lease, we have about a remaining 52 years left. Our unit today is located on a high floor and we are a corridor unit. And fronting the corridor is actually a beautiful unblocked sea view. Now it is worth to mention that even within this vicinity, roughly only one third of the blocks actually get to enjoy this unblocked sea view provided it's a high floor unit. So it is even harder to find a unit with this view yet still away from the busy highway. If you are looking for a high floor unit with this view and you want to be away from the highway, that's even more rare to find such a unit like this. So one thing that's even more rare about our unit is the fact that we are not just unblocked from the front, we are also unblocked from the back as we are not facing any other HDB flocks. Thus, this ensure very very good crosswind ventilation. Now let us move on to the BB floor plan analysis. This is a 3-room improved HDB unit. It's sized at 65 square meters, which is approximately 700 square feet. Now, the unit comes with a long rectangular living and dining area, two spacious bedrooms, an open concept kitchen, and a spacious utility room. Originally, the unit came with a separate WC and shower area. However, the WC and shower area has now been integrated into a singular bathroom with Jack and Jill access via the master bedroom and the kitchen. Now, on to the BB location analysis. Now this is 65 Marine Drive and those of you familiar with the area, I'm sure you agree with me that this is a fantastic location in terms of convenience and the amenities as well. Now just a 10 minute walk will bring you to a fair price finest supermarket for your grocery shopping. At Block 84, there's also the Marine Parade Central Market and Food Center to do your wet market. And if you love local hawker food, you'll be spoiled for choice over there. So for more shopping and dining options, you can also head to Parkway Parade just nearby. And if you love nature and outdoors, you can just head to the East Coast Park via the underpass. So in terms of accessibility, we are also just a 5 minutes walk to the up and coming Marine Parade MRT station. So once stage 4 of the Thompson East Coast Line is complete, residents here will be able to gain access to stations to the CBD area such as Shenton Way MRT and Raffles Place MRT as well as Orchard MRT easily. There are also quite a number of popular schools in the area. Within 1km, we have Taunan Primary, CHID Katong Primary, Nian Primary and Tanjong Katong Primary School. And within 1-2km, to we have Haight Girls School and St. Stephen's School. And for those of you who have been following the news, I'm sure you have heard of the exciting developments that are planned for this area in the Bayshore plan. So with this Bayshore plan, the entire East Coast area is going to be rejuvenated with new townships and you're going to have more new residential and commercial units moving into the area as well. Now let's check out the interior. Coming in from the front door, you have this very squarish living and dining area. Now what's good is that for this particular unit, our owners actually don't have a lot of built-in. So this is totally a clean canvas for you to unleash your creativity. In the living area, what you can see is that over here they have placed a three-seater sofa with their shoe shelf at the side against the window. Now you notice that the window right allows for a lot of the natural sunlight to come in and actually just standing from here, you actually enjoy a very beautiful sea view. So above the sofa, cove light has been installed and just above me as well, we have a sea ceiling fan already installed in the middle of the living room. So opposite here, our owners have placed a very large screen TV and as you can see the shelf below, this is not a built-in as well, so you're free to do up a feature wall on this side of the living room. Heading into the dining area, we have a very huge 
four-seater table being placed. So you have the sort who like to invite your friends over, what you can do is just switch it up to an extendable table and you can easily fit up to six or eight people. So coming to the kitchen, you feel that it's very airy and bright. You can see in terms of the colour tone, all this is done in a very uh, light coloured wood, so it gives us a very nice Scandinavian feel. So over here, we have provision for your refrigerator, and over here, we actually have a two-burner induction stove. So we have cabin the tree on top and below as well. You can see this is actually kind of like an L-shaped countertop, and you also have the sink installed over here. So when you're cooking, right, it's actually very convenient. So you're here cooking, you can do your chopping, and you want to clean up, you just put all your, <laughs> all your dirty dishes into the sink over here. Let's head to the yard area. So the yard, very nicely done, very simple. You have provision here for a washer, and also cabin the tree for storage. And above, these are racks for you to hang your clothes as well. So one thing unique about these units here is that while they don't come with a storeroom or a home shelter, they actually do come with quite a spacious utility room. Let's go check it out. So for this utility room, currently it is being used as a storeroom by our owners as you can see from the shelves that are being placed but the size of this uh, utility room is actually quite decent so later we'll give you some ideas on how you can further use this space. So our facing behind is lovely as well because you see that we are not facing directly to any HDB block so you get a lot of privacy. So from here actually you can see from the view, there's actually a very good channel of wind that can flow through right over here because we are totally unblocked in front. So if you look at the floor plan, units like this originally will come with a separate WC as well as the shower area. So what our owners have actually done is to seal up the wall over here and you have an entrance, a Jack and Joe access to the bathroom via the kitchen and also later you see from the master bedroom as well. This is actually a slide and swing door. These kind of doors are very good because they are compact and actually save a lot of space. As you can see, the toilet is beautifully done and what you have is actually the toilet bowl over here, the shower area in the middle and closest to the master bedroom is actually uh, the sink and the cabinet tree on top. So shower overhead, we actually have a standing shower with a rain shower installed on top. So those of you who love rain shower, I think you're going to love this. And this door actually leads to the master bedroom. Now before we show you the master bedroom, let's dive into the BB pricing comparative analysis. As most of the three-room flats built around this area were built in the same era, the few factors that will affect the price would be the floor, the facing, the condition of the unit, and whether it's a corner unit which enjoys a slightly larger floor size. Now, the current asking prices at the time of shooting for three-room flats in the Marine Parade vicinity range from $300,000 all the way to $500,000 quantum. Now for the units who are asking between the upper 300 to lower 400,000 range, these are mainly the smaller unit size around 59 square meters with no utility room or they are lower level corridor units in original condition. The majority of the units are asking in the mid to upper 400,000 range and those are mid floor corner units or high floor corridor units in original condition which fall within this asking price category. You also have to factor in the fact that renovation costs will probably cost you another $20,000 to $30,000 and you also have to factor in the waiting time to wait for your renovations to be complete. Last but not least, some of the high floor renovated corner units are asking at above $500,000. Now for our three-room unit over here, we are asking at $480,000 and we are a high floor corridor unit with unblocked facing both front and back and we have no south orientation which means there's a lot of good wind ventilation and as you can see, we are also well renovated and in a move-in condition so I'm sure this is a unit that you will not want to miss and next, let's talk about the BB financial analysis So for those of you who want to utilize your CPF, do note that the age of the youngest buyer will have to be at least 43 years old. If not, your CPF usage as well as your loan to value ratio will be prorated accordingly. The property asking price is $480,000. Now assuming no COV and both you and your partner are both Singapore citizens aged 43 years old with an income of $4,000 each, there is a buyer's stamp duty amount of $9,000. Now, if you take a HDB loan, there is the option fee and exercise fee in cash of up to $5,000. 20% down payment which amounts to $96,000 less the initial deposit of $5K which is fully serviceable by CPF. The remaining will be the HDB loan with 80% loan to value which is at $384,000. With a loan tenure of 25 years and interest rate at 2.6%, monthly installment of this home will be at $1,742. The total CPF monthly contribution that both of you can use to offset the mortgage is at $1,840. 
This essentially means that your monthly mortgage can be serviced using your CPF with no top-up in cash. So in terms of grants, if both you and your partner are Singaporean citizens, first-time applicants with a combined income of $8,000, these are the grants that you can consider. You qualify for $50,000 in family grant, $15,000 in the Enhanced CPF Housing Grant. Now that adds up to about $65,000 in grants. So at an asking price of $480,000, if you have all these subsidies, this will actually bring your quantum down to $415,000. And I think this is a very affordable quantum when you're looking at three-room flats in this area. And with that, I think it's time to check out the two bedrooms. So this is actually the common bedroom of the house and as you can see, there are no built-ins in this room as well. So for those of you who want to turn it into another bedroom or you want to turn it into another work and study office, you can do it up to your liking. So flooring is a parquet flooring and as you can see, our owners have converted this into their sort of a work gaming station. So we have two large desks as well with four monitors across this side of the wall. But what I'll suggest actually is that if you actually want to turn this into a work and office space, perhaps you can actually place your office table over here so that every time you want to take a break, you can look up and see the beautiful unblocked sea view right in front of you. Air conditioning has also already been installed in this room ensuring that you can work in the cool comfort of your house. And let's go check out the master bedroom. And welcome to the master bedroom of the house. Now as you can see, the size of this room is very good. Over here, our owners have actually placed a huge king-size bed frame. But even with that, you can see that there's space on either side of the bed to actually place side tables. So behind here, we actually enjoy the same unblocked facing as the yard. So when you actually open this window up at night, it's actually very cool and you actually do not have to turn on fans or air conditioning. But of course, if you're worried about the hot and humid weather of Singapore, you can see that air conditioning has already been installed in this room. Now what's really fantastic is that originally, this room did not come with an ensuite bathroom, but as we spoke about it earlier, now you actually have a door that gives you direct access to the bathroom. So in the middle of the night, if you do need to go to the toilet, you actually don't have to walk a big round outside. So for this break room as well, what our owner has done is actually to build in an inbuilt wardrobe on this side of the wall. It's very beautiful, a two-panel sliding wardrobe, still in very good condition. So I believe that this is something that you probably want to keep. And last but not least, here are our five BB renovation ideas. So BB renovation idea number one. Now if these floor tiles are not currently to your liking, a very simple and cost efficient way to switch things up is actually to do vinyl flooring over. BB Reno idea number two. Now for those of you who are into heavy cooking, what you can actually consider to do is to install a sliding door or swing door over here so they can keep the aromas enclosed within the kitchen area. Now BB Reno idea number three. Alternatively, for those of you who love to host and have your friends over, you might want to consider hacking down this wall to make it a very open concept kind of plan. Now what you can actually do is to put a kitchen island over here and then you and your friends can interact while you're preparing the food in the kitchen. BB Reno idea number four. You can actually build a huge storage feature wall over here so that you can actually save more space. BB Reno idea number five. Now one unique point about the utility rooms in these kind of flats is that they are rather spacious and even come with a huge window. So what you can do is actually convert this to possibly a third bedroom or even turn this into your work and office space. So those were our five BB Reno ideas. Now this is a high floor trim unit with unblocked gorgeous sea views at 65 Marine Drive with an asking price of $480,000. If you're keen to view this unit, please do give our listing managers a call. Their numbers are right below. Thank you for staying with us throughout this home tour. Now do remember to click the like and subscribe button on our Blue Bricks by PLB YouTube channel page. We're also on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok, so do follow us there as well. I'm Alexa from Profitalim Brothers, always happy to show you the place. To the end of the video where I'll be showing you 5 BB... 5 <laughs> Sorry, 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 sorry. Old school and St. Stephen's school.